In 1973, 11 European countries decided to pursue joint collaboration in the field of space exploration and formed a new international organization to undertake this mission. The new organization was the European Space Agency. For some time prior to the ESA's formation, France had been lobbying for the development of a new European expendable launch system to serve as a replacement for the Europa rocket. One proposed successor was in the form of a refined Europa, referred to as the Europa 3B. It was studied, but was found to be too ambitious and costly. As a result, the Europa 3B proposal was scaled back and soon re emerged as the L3S. L3S captured the attention of many European countries. Initially, Germany and France contributed to this program, but later, many countries joined in. In January 1973, Willy Brandt, the Chancellor of Germany, formally agreed to the L3S. From the onset, the launcher was to be developed for the purpose of sending commercial satellites into geosynchronous orbit, unlike many other competing launchers, which had been typically developed for other purposes and subsequently adapted, such as ballistic missiles. France was the largest stakeholder in the L3S program. French aerospace manufacturer, Aerospatial, served as the prime contractor and held responsibility for performing the integration of all sections of the vehicle, while French engine manufacturer, Safran Aircraft Engines, provided both the first and second stage engines. The third stage engines were produced by Air Liquid and German aerospace manufacturer, MBB. Other major companies involved in it included the French electronics firm, Matera, Swedish manufacturer, Volvo, and German aircraft producer, Dornier. The United Kingdom, which held a stake of 2.47% in the project, provided the guidance system, developed by Ferranti, and the central digital computer, from Marconi. British Aerospace had later got involved, and Workshare as well. Early on, it was felt that the L3S designation lacked public appeal. Out of several alternative names, including Phoenix, Lyra, Ganymede, and Vega, French Minister of Industrial and Scientific Development, Jean Charbonnel, chose the name Ariane for the new launcher. Development of the third stage was a major focus point for this project, because prior to Ariane, only the United States had ever flown a launcher that utilized hydrogen powered upper stages. Hydrogen powered rockets are difficult to build because liquid hydrogen's temperature is around 20 Kelvin or minus 252 degrees Celsius. For reference, the lowest possible temperature in the entire universe is 0 Kelvin or minus 273 degrees Celsius. Very few materials are able to withstand that low temperature, and hence, the engineering is insanely complex. But nonetheless, ESA was able to build the third stage. ESA decided that there should be a total of four test flights prior to initiating commercial operations. However, vacant space was made available to operators for these flights on the provision that success was not guaranteed. 